How to make Facebook ads with Canva. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can design your Facebook ads using Canva for free. So let's get started. First off, if you take a look at Facebook over here, there are many different types of ads you can do. First off, you have these side ads, which pop up like this. Then you have these main homepage ads, which can usually be a video or a image. And usually in the case of images, they are often rectangular, but rectangular images usually get cropped out at the sides. So I would suggest that when you're creating Facebook AdWords, if you want to stand out, then you should go for a square AdWord. But if you want to follow the basic platform standard, then you can go for the basic standard rectangular image. Now let's go on to Canva and start designing. Now, Canva has two plans. Right now, I'm using the free version of Canva, but if you want to have a specific brand kit, if you're looking to create a very stylized brand aesthetic and you want to follow that constantly, then you should opt for going for their premium version, which costs around $13 per month. And in your premium version, you can see over here, you have a brand kit and you can upload brand logos, brand colors, brand fonts and apply them to all of your designs without having to change each thing individually. Now going back to our design, you're going to click on this top search bar. And if you're wanting to create a rectangular ad, just search for Facebook ad and just click on this. But if you're looking to create a square ad, search for Instagram ad and open that. The only difference is that Instagram ads are square while Facebook ads are rectangular and I would suggest going for Instagram ads even if you're creating a Facebook ad. So I'm just going to click on that. And then Canva does provide you with quite a few templates to work with, but I would suggest that if you're going for a unique look, you should opt for your own kind of style. You can see you can filter out ads based on their themes. So marketing, sales, fashion posts, uh, the style you want to opt for. And you can see if it has this crown icon below the theme, it means that it is a premium only design, which you can use if you're only paying for Canva. But anything without that, you can use as a template to get started with your ad. Um, you can just browse through right now. There are a lot of Black Friday sales templates. There are coming soon templates, brand launch templates, and there is a lot to work with, but let's get started with a empty ad. So let's get started with a empty canvas and start designing our own very custom ad. Now you can see we have the square canvas and right now I am going to create a ad for some kind of makeup product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into elements on the left over here and I am going to search for sparkle background because this is makeup and I want it to have a kind of sparkly look. So you can see over here the images that they're suggesting. If it has this crown icon, it's only available on the pro version, but if it doesn't, it means you can use it even on the free version here on Canva. And just keep on browsing through Canva until you find something that really stands out to you and you think that would fit your brand aesthetic. Now taking this very simple kind of sparkly background i'm going to flip it then i'm also i have to rotate this as well so it fits better into my canvas like so expand your image till it fits like this and a good thing with sparkles like this is that you can honestly change the colors of your image by you know uh, applying a few filters so i'm just gonna do that and a good thing about backgrounds like this is that you can apply a few filters and that will change the look of this sparkle as well. So if you change the saturation, if you change the exposure, you can change the color of your image as well. So you can see over here we have filters and by applying different filters, I can get like a different look from the same image. But I'm going to leave it as this dull pink and blue sparkle because I really do think it looks very, very nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reduce the brightness by one and increase the saturation a little bit to make the colors pop up a bit. So after that, I'm going to search for nail polish in my element section. And now you can choose what kind of image you're going for. If you want to add a direct image and have like a um, half and half ad where you have text on one side and the image on the other, you can do that. If you want to make like cute animated ads, you can do that as well. 
I am going to go for an animated look on this ad. I don't want to add like the actual picture of nail polish and nail polish bottles. I want to keep it cool and I want to advertise some kind of nail polish class or a nail art class. So I'm going to look for this in graphics. First, we looked for backgrounds in photos, but for this, we're going to go into graphics and we're going to keep searching or let's just search for nails. We're going to go in graphics. Yeah, this looks very appealing. I'm gonna place this over here. Then we're gonna add this image as well. I'm gonna change the outline to black. Oh no, this is a skin color. Mm, I don't like this, so I'm gonna delete it. I don't like the color scheme on this. And we're gonna keep on searching for a bit more. Yeah, this looks better, like so. Just add a few animations that you like and then you can filter out the ones that don't fit with your um, overall look. I don't think that my sparkly background is looking good right now and I think I'm going to change this and that is how the process goes. So you're just going to keep on browsing for things that fit well and then once you have decided on a certain set of elements you can customize everything else accordingly. So I think I really want to add these three images and i'm going to flip this one horizontally i'm going to place it over there on this side of my ad this is going to be on top i'm going to change the colors a bit so the purple i want to the nail color i want to make a bit red so it pops up similarly over here on this other image i have i'm going to make the nail color something that's a bit more noticeable or like this I'm going to zoom in. Now I'm going to move this down here. Or I'm going to move this with a circle over there. And I'm going to recolor this to fit more into pinkish tones. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this. So I'm going to make it all pink. Like so. Now I like this a lot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this. I'm going to remove this background. I'm going to go back into elements and I'm going to search for solid background with a little bit of texture. So I'm going to look for something that is simple but has some kind of, you know, rough look on it, you could say, in a way. Or if I just make this a nude color, I think this looks good as well. So I'm going to go with a nude color instead of having a textured background. And now I'm going to search for circle here on the element section. I'm going to go with this kind of little dotted circle and I'm going to change the color to black. I'm going to place it over here, place this over here where it's centered with the circle. Or maybe I should just place it down below. And now I'm going to click on text and you can add simple text or you can add a font combination text. I'm going to go for a font combination and I'm going to add this sweet font combination that we have over here. And I'm going to write nail art master class. Don't worry, you, you can resize the font. Just, I'm going to add 50 and now nail art master class. And I'm going to simplify the little font because i like the color but i think it's looking a bit too confusing if it's done in such a complex font you can browse all of these fonts and obviously the ones with crown are only available on the premium version and the ones without one you can use so like so i'm just going to resize this i'm going to place it at the center of the circle and at the center of this page and i'm going to recolor it to a darker shade of pink. Now I'm going to increase this font size, move it to the center, and then after that I'm going to click on add a little bit of body text. I'm going to write some timing, so 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. I'm going to move that down below our circle. I'm going to change the font for this as well. So I'm going to make this different. Oh my god, this looks good. And I'm going to make sure that this is centered. After that, you can just go into elements and add as many design elements as you might like. If you want to keep this to be maybe a small GIF kind of ad, you can add any kind of animations as well. I'm going to add this golden little sparkly circle to the text block that I added like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into elements. Going into lines and shapes, I'm going to select this dotted line. 
and I am going to place this right at the center. You're going to get these purple lines as guides, so make sure to use them. I'm going to send it backwards so it's behind my animations. I'm going to change the color to a darker shade of pink. I think that will look best. Yeah, this looks good. And I am just going to copy this and press Ctrl V. And I'm going to place it down below as well. Just make sure it is centered. I'm going to copy it again. And then I am going to rotate this line. Make sure you put it on 90 degrees. You're going to get that guide on the side. And then I'm just going to extend it. I'm going to copy it and paste it. And I'm going to place it on the other side as well. I'm going to send it back over here as well. Send it backward like this. So just like this, you have designed a uh, Facebook ad and you can do this for any other platform as well. It's very easy and simple to use. Now, this is just a very simple animated ad. There are a few tools that I would like to suggest for you guys. First off, we have Vectezy. If you want to find royalty-free images without any watermarks, without anything like that, you can definitely search for them on Vectezy. They have a very large selection of uh, images and let's just search for nails and I'll show you guys the different Different images that they have. You can see that there is a lot of stuff you can pick from over here, these kinds of very beautiful animations, these real life photos, just some design things, and all of that is available over here. And another very useful feature for creating Facebook ads is the background remover. So this website is called remove.bg. I'm just going to upload an image, and in my downloads I have this image of this businesswoman over here. And you can see this is how it's going to look once I remove the background and then I can just download it. And you can only download it in HD if you have a premium version, but still this is a very useful website. You can see if I go back into Canva, I click on uploads, I upload my media. I'm gonna upload that young woman's image. I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna just to show you guys what it's going to look like. You can see even without a premium version, you still get very decent background removal and the quality is um, pretty good. It's, it's more than enough for a basic Facebook ad. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are able to follow through and create your own Facebook ads. I will catch you guys in the next video.